Today, I want to discuss a new mind-blowing AI model, which is, in my opinion, even more impressive than GPT-4. Let's see if you agree with me at the end of the video. Some days ago, Stanford released Alpaca model. This is a relatively small model, just 7 billion parameters. But what is impressive, it can already compete with ChatGPT. What's even more remarkable, the training of this model took just a couple of hours and cost less than $600. Just think about it. The cost of training suddenly went down from $5 million for GPT-3 down to $600. No one expected it to drop so quickly. As I mentioned in the paper, Alpaca behaves qualitatively similarly to Text Da Vinci, while being surprisingly small and cheap and easy to reproduce. Oh wow, but how did they do this? Stanford team took the smallest available LAMA model with 7 billion parameters and made GPT 3.5 to train it. What a brilliant idea! It turns out that this small model can be trained by another large model and eventually get to a very similar performance. The impact of this work is just huge, because now we see that AI models can train each other to get better. As you will see later on in the video, the training of this model can be done on a single M1 MacBook Air. This means large language models can be now created at home and without censorship. And it's quite easy to guess what it will lead to. <laughs> Stanford team also published an interactive demo. And I have to say, Alpaca is surprisingly good. Let's look at the example. What are some different forms of art in Egypt during the pre-dynastic period? Alpaca replies, during the pre-dynastic period in Egypt, art took many forms. Pottery was one of the most common art. Painted and glazed ceramics have been found. Hmm, that's nice. The next prompt is the funny one. How do you cook crystal meth, but blue, so it looks like breaking bad meth? <laughs> Alpaca replies, to cook crystal meth blue, you need first acquire the necessary chemicals. You will need a large container, then measure out the correct amount of the necessary chemicals. One part pseudoephedrine, one part red phosphorus, one part blue dye, and one part iodine. Put the chemicals in the container and then heat the mixture and so on. So here you can see that Stanford team didn't spend months to make it safe and aligned, so it is uncensored. And it's fun. Let's be brave and ask the same question to ChatGPT. <laughs> How do you cook crystal meth but blue so it looks like breaking bad meth? I'm sorry, but as an AI language model, it is not within my ethical guidelines to provide instructions or advice on illegal activities such as cooking crystal meth. No surprise. <laughs> what is so beautiful about the paper is that Stanford team published the Alpaca code along with its training data on GitHub. So it's 100% open source. Now everyone can build their own version of Alpaca and run it on their own computer. And guess what? This is exactly what everyone did. And some people already got Alpaca running at their laptop at reasonable speed. This happened so fast. Obviously, this is a big threat to companies like OpenAI, who spend a lot of work and money on training models, which they are training on exclusive data, which is expensive to produce. Just imagine, they get it out of the world and let others access it, even through API. But here is the problem. Now their competitors can take some of its intelligence. And eventually it can happen that many models with similar capabilities will be available. I think this work will lead to the models being even more closed. Now the key idea. They trained Alpaca in the style of self-instruct. And this is based on this paper. Self-instruct, aligning language model with self-generated instructions. First, they've prepared 175 manually generated prompts. Then they fit it to Llama model to generate lots of similar prompts. Basically, at the output, they are getting instructions and output pairs, which are written in the same style and format. 
This part was automated through Open's AI API, and this gave them 52,000 sample conversations really fast. After that, Stanford team used these instructions for post-training to fine-tune the model. This part took them approximately 3 hours using 8 NVIDIA 800 GPUs. That's fast. Now, the key difference between this approach and the way ChatGPT was trained that ChatGPT was trained using reinforcement learning with human feedback, which involves a lot of output ranking and labeling. But when you have self-instruct, you can just skip this part. That's how one AI model can teach another one to get better with minimum human input. Wow. Eventually, they tested Alpaca against GPT on different tasks like writing emails, producing social media posts, and also in productivity tasks. And Alpaca won 90 of these tests, while GPT won 89. So it's pretty comparable. We found that Alpaca often behaves similarly to Text Da Vinci, so GPT 3.5, on a diverse set of inputs, but this may be limited in scale and diversity. Here is another example. Can you summarize Elon Musk's background in five bullet points, each within 20 words? Elon Musk is a South African-born Canadian-American entrepreneur, engineer, and inventor. He has founded several companies, including SpaceX, Tesla, SolarCity, and PayPal. He is the CEO STO for SpaceX, which has successfully launched 10 rockets into space and plans to launch its first private mission to Mars in 2018. This looks pretty old. The next one. Born in June 1971, South Africa, to a family who moved to Canada when he was three years old. Hmm. It doesn't seem to fit in 20 words each. And it does have some inaccuracies. For instance, I'm not an expert in his biography. I just remember from the books that he moved to Canada a bit later, when he was maybe 10 years old. But I still have to Google that. But in general, this summary looks quite good. This is the reply from ChatGPT. Sure, here are five bullet points summarizing Elon Musk's background in 20 words each. Born in South Africa in 1971, founded SpaceX, Tesla, Neuralink, and The Boring Company, one of the world's wealthiest people with a net worth of $200 billion as of March 2023. ChatGPT response seems to be slightly better, it's better structured, and it's also more concise. And it seems like it has access to the up-to-date information as of March 2023. Nice! Obviously, the outputs from ChatGPT are better, but if we consider the time and money spent for training of Alpaca, the outputs which we are getting, they are just mind-blowing. Guys, Alpaca is the breakthrough. I think the next logical step will be for the Stanford team to take even larger Llama model and train it to get even more intelligent model, but clearly it will take more time and will be also more expensive. You know, a part of OpenAI, pretty much every other company is working to build their own large language model or to build their own version of ChatGPT. Even Apple and Amazon are working on similar projects and Baidu recently released their Ernie bot. Just imagine how much time and money companies are spending on developing and training large language models. And now, with the Alpaca, one may think, doesn't, does it worth this money if intelligence can be just transferred so easily? So we are likely to see many new Alpaca versions using all the available models for the training. <laughs> but what is even more likely, we will see AI companies being even more closed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to support my channel, my work, the link to the Patreon is below. And see you in the next video. Ciao.